Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Schmeichel here from Lamb of God Lutheran Church in Madison, Alabama, with our Tuesday afternoon video devotion. Our lesson for today is actually the first lesson from Sunday's service. Uh, it's from an Old Testament prophet by the name of Ezekiel. Ezekiel had a rather challenging task ahead of him. Uh, he was a prophet of the Lord in the final days of the nation of Judah. Uh, in fact, he was actually one of the first exiles that was taken away, and his job was to minister and proclaim God's word to the people of Israel who had been taken into captivity already. And as you might imagine, with them being taken away, uh, the question is always when something bad happens, and the question is, why God? Uh, why are you letting this happen? Why are you being unfair? Uh, and they were accusing God of being unfair. Uh, God had very clearly said it was the nation's sin that was causing this calamity. And the people immediately thought of someone else. Well, we've had some kings that were really bad. King Manasseh was, was very bad. And, and uh, do we have to suffer because he was so bad? Uh, and um, the Lord uh, reminds them that uh, God was not being unfair. Uh, they were just as sinful as their ancestors. Uh, and that really is what God means uh, all the way back when he uh, gave that uh, description of himself to Moses on Mount Sinai, uh, where he describes himself as the compassionate and gracious God who's slow to anger and abounding in love and faithfulness. Yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. He punishes the children for the sins of the fathers to the third and fourth generation. And say, well, wait a minute, God, why, why are you punishing children and then generations to come for what their ancestors did? And God uh, is ultimately saying, I'm not. Uh, what he is saying is that the children learn very well from parents and grandparents and not only carry on the same sins, but find out how to do them even more efficiently and to do them, do them better, so to speak. And so uh, there was a, a proverb about eating sour grapes and uh, the children having to suffer as a result. Uh, and God simply says, you've got it wrong. I'm not being unfair. Uh, I'm not being unjust. Uh, it's... It's God's perfect justice. And yet, even as God carries out his perfect justice, it pains him. Uh, he says, I take no pleasure in the death of anyone. Uh, God does not enjoy sending people to hell. Uh, he does not enjoy the, uh, the, the difficulties that come into people's lives as a result of their sinfulness. Uh, that's not where God is. Uh, God desires that we turn and be saved. Uh, he desires that we turn from our wicked ways. And so, uh, yes, uh, God doesn't step in and stop all bad things from happening. Uh, and that's his love for us. Uh, just as, as parents, you, don't, you know that it's not good for your children if you try to step in and, and prevent all bad things from happening. Uh, you, you want to, right? You want to in the worst way, but you know that ultimately they're, they're not going to learn unless they have to face some of those challenges and figure out how to get through them themselves. Uh, and God reminds us that the challenges and difficulties that come into our lives are meant to uh, remind us of his promises and to draw us closer to him. Uh, that is who our God is. He wants us to live and he wants us to trust in him as savior, but he also wants us to live. And, and while we're living to live according to his will, not according to our will. Listen to these words from Ezekiel, chapter 18. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you people mean by quoting this proverb about the land of Israel? The parents eat sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, you will no longer quote this proverb in Israel. For everyone belongs to me. The parents as well as the child, both alike, belong to me. The one who sins is the one who will die. And yet you say, the way of the Lord is not just. Hear you, Israelites. Is my way unjust? Is it not your ways that are unjust? If a righteous person turns from their righteousness and commits sin, they will die for it. Because of the sin they have committed, they will die. 
But if a person turns away, a wicked person turns away from the wickedness they've committed and does what is just and right, they will save their life. Because they consider all the offenses they've committed and turn away from them, that person will surely live. They will not die. Yet the Israelites say, the way of the Lord is not just. Are my ways unjust, peace people of Israel? Is it not your ways that are unjust? Therefore, you Israelites, I will judge each of you according to your own ways, declares the Sovereign Lord. Repent. Turn away from all your offenses. Then sin will not be your downfall. Rid yourselves of all the offenses you've committed and get a new heart and a new spirit. Why will you die, people of Israel? For I take no pleasure in the death of anyone, declares the Lord. Repent and live. That's God's ways. And as God, he, he does know what's best for us. May God guide us in our lives of repentance each and every day, recognizing our own sin and the need for forgiveness, and then clinging to the cross of Jesus, where Jesus has paid the guilt of every one of our sins. Repent and live. God bless your day.